Now, those notes uh, that you absolutely have to know is um, I have them written down. First of all, uh, you need to know your own uh, how to program in Game Maker. I've seen on multiple occasions when people follow a tutorial on YouTube and they get an error message um, and they post the error message on the YouTube screen and it's usually if you read it that error message tells you all the information which you need to know to find where the the issue is. It tells you where the error occurred, which object, which event, which action number, which line of code. I mean this like event, uh, step event, action number one, line of code 24. It tells you exactly where the the uh, error error came from and it also tells you what was the error message like if it says um, like uh, in this particular case uh, if I am going to uh, once again take this code outside of that condition when it when it will not find the variable point X uh, point one and point two coordinates it will give me an error message uh, variable get this uh, this message says it's not able to find the variable, right? And as I said, uh, this variable is only created. Like I, c I could do this. I can go to create code, and I can uh, literally just copy these things. And I will say this will be point one, and this will be point two. So this variable will exist in the very beginning. And right now we should. Uh, or should basically not get any error messages. Alright, no error messages here. Alright, as you can see, I didn't change anything except to add those variables. So these are very basic mistakes, and you need to know how to read your debugging uh, window so that you know what the uh, mistakes are. Right? Sometimes people ask just the most simplest things and this is why just following a tutorial and copying and pasting uh, is is not recommended uh, I mean you can learn from it you can copy and paste and you learn for as long as you know what the code does if you just copy and paste without knowing what what the code does it's it's not gonna work uh, you're gonna the first uh, error you're gonna run into will uh, basically just be uh, well, it, it's gonna be a pain in the ass and you're gonna start asking questions and you know people who don't have access to your project they have very limited amount of um, uh, well very limited ability of help that they can provide you uh, because they don't have access to the the code within which the error occurred next point um, this uh, particular shadow system uses loops uh, in order to uh, in order to um, instantly find the edges. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to draw event and I'm going to uncomment our messages that help us to see where the points are and where the lines are. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, well first I'm gonna show you the the issue. It's not technically an issue but this is the way the code works. Uh, there is only one single way which you can hit an infinite loop. As I said, when you use loops you have to be very careful not to hit an infinite loop. The infinite, the, the loop here is used to instantly find this edge, this edge, this point and this point. Now this is what happens when you get too close to the object. That's it. You have now entered an infinite loop from which your game will not be able to recover. Um, and if I'm going to quickly change this to if statement and this to if statement whoops if if I'm gonna switch it to if statements I'm gonna show you what exactly happens when that lo infinite loop takes place um, so as, as I note uh, noted the the loop uh, takes the line in the middle of an object and once the object has stopped, it uh, slowly moves itself to the left and to the right to find the edge. Now this is what happens when you move in the middle of the object. So the object has stopped. The collision line is continuously colliding with this object. Because this object is inside of it, so the collision line starts from the middle to the radius. right? And 
unfortunately it it uh, since it collides it will always collide forever and this is the reason you you enter an infinite loop it never exits the edge of the object it always collides with it uh, so that's one thing to watch out so uh, a good way to uh, whoops uh, I'm going to change that back to while loops uh, a good way to avoid it uh, would be to have to properly uh, have your collision uh, system make sure your collision mask doesn't change uh, origin point so that once you know the object would not be able to go on top of it so this would be you know this would be the the collision point and it would not go inside so as you can see it works fine right you just gotta watch out for like this is a basic thing uh, next point um, when you import that object uh, it has a sprite to it and uh, I am using a draw event here uh, because um, okay it coincides with another note which I need to tell you um, and that note is the uh, the draw self uh, it is meant for ch uh, children objects and by that I mean we have the the object that creates the the shadows and it can be parented to a different object as you can see there's a shadow system new it's parented to this uh, ground block right you can create a new object obj ground to to major tom okay so you can you can pick your your sprite uh, you know make a new sprite whatever just uh, doodle something Here we go. I'll pick something purple, pink, whatever. Um, so you got your sprite, you got your object. You select the um, the shadow system object as a parent, and if you will place that object now in the room, it is going to uh, accept the code, and it's going to use that code. There you go. It uses uh, it. Ta it takes in the shadows. Um, so the um, the code that is uh, the draw self. If you delete that code, uh, well, first of all, you're gonna hit an error message. I, uh, good lord! Don't lose yourself, man. Come on. Okay. Uh, so when you get this this object, it's not gonna have a sprite on it. Um, it's going to be spriteless and this piece of code the draw self that it's in here uh, it's going uh, it is meant for child objects so that yes it would draw the shadow if you're drawing it from the object perspective it would draw the shadow but it also needs to draw itself uh, and well, you're gonna get the object that it doesn't have a sprite because well you can draw your own sprite uh, and you're gonna get an error message because this object is present in the room and it says trying to draw an non-existing sprite because this does not have a sprite on it funny thing is you actually don't even need to have that object in the room it's my bad uh, as long as you just have the uh, uh, the objects that that use these uh, the shadows if you want the shadow so yeah uh, you don't even need to have the object in the room uh, because the parent uh, when it's a parent object you it, it can be uh, the code of the child uh, will access it anyways or the child will access the code anyways um, next point uh, and it's very important so yeah you have your your object you need to have a sprite on it so make sure you have the sprite it can be anything just draw a random debug sprite that's not supposed to be even appearing in the game just make sure it's there uh, okay so I will make sure I covered my ground there uh, the next point is um, uh, the next point is Oh yes, uh, if you have an object, like an object, uh, say I'm gonna use that newly created object here. If I'm going to have a step event, if I'm gonna have a step event, and uh, you have the parent of the shadow system as a step event, uh, this is what's gonna happen. Your um, 
the whatchamacallit, your child object, as you can see, it is not going to have the shadow system because uh, when you have a parent and the parent has a step event, the child will inherit that step event. But if the step, if the child object has a step event of its own, it's not going. It's going to disregard the step event of a parent, and it's going to work with its own. And that's when you need to use a uh, function called event inherit, inherited. And this function, you just put it at the very beginning of your event, um, and. Uh, it will uh, it will tell that even though you have a step event of your own you still need to inherit the step event of the parent uh, so let's take a look in the parent you have a create event step event and draw event if your child object needs a create event and a step event you're gonna have to place that event inherited uh, code into the uh, the create event of your child object as well every child object that has its own event um, so that's important. It's very important because you're going gonna, you're gonna to get an error message or you're not going to get an error message, which is even worse because you can't, you don't know where the problem is. Okay, so I'm just trying to cover all, all my bases here. Um, what else? What else? Let me check, consult my list. Um, oh, and the final thing is when you have a lot of objects, as I said, this uh, since this... Uh, since this uh, system uses a, a loop, when you have a lot of objects, loop has to stop the game, make its uh, rounds, loop through the code until it exits the condition, and whoops! And as soon as it does that, as soon as it exits the condition, it continues the game loop. And when you have a lot of objects that use this uh, shadow system, uh, and they all have to pause the game to to find their shadows instantaneous, your game will start slowing down, which is the most important point. Uh, because you you know if you if you're after a fa if you need a, a fast game, and uh, it it looks like a performance draw. Like you can see that. You, you can already see the speed of the game with all these shadows in place, right? You can see that the speed is being impaired. Uh, and this is just, uh, these are just basic sprites. I don't have any backgrounds or any other functions. So imagine when you have your, your uh, uh, actual game with tiles and backgrounds and, uh, you know, the, the parallax backgrounds and, and players and all those calculations, just how much of a performance draw all these blocks will 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 have on your system so you're gonna have to make some uh, resource decisions of which blocks will need to cast the shadows um, and I am I think I'm done I think I've uh, covered all my bases um, so you know what um, if you if you have a debugging error um, posted and uh, I will take a look at it and I will tell you what the problem is uh, to the best of my abilities, even though I don't have access to your code. All right, uh, I hope you guys like it, um, and I hope you guys will use, uh, find a use for this code and or come up maybe with an improvement, and I will talk to you later. Subscribe to see my game, Ben. All right. Yeah, all right.